I'm Chris with Matters Musings, Toys, Tech, and More. If you own a vehicle, you know one of the worst feelings is seeing that service engine light come on. But how do you know what's actually wrong? Well, I've got a review of a device that could not only possibly help you find out what's wrong, but also save you some money. This review is brought to you by iPhone in Canada. This is the blue driver from Canadian company Lemur. It's an onboard diagnostic 2 or OBD2 tool for vehicles. In its simplest terms, it lets you check your vehicle's engine performance, understand error codes, and even help you know if your vehicle will pass a smog check. All this for $100. Yes, there are other portable diagnostic tools on the market for less, but with the blue driver, you get a very small compact Bluetooth enabled dongle, very detailed error reports, and you get a very easy to use app on your mobile device with a super simple interface. So before I go any further, if you have a 1996 or newer vehicle, the blue driver should work in some way. But to be sure, the Lemur website has a great little assistant to find out not only if your vehicle is compatible, but exactly what the blue driver will be able to tell you. So before you buy, make sure your vehicle is compatible, especially especially for vehicles outside of North America. For instance, we drive Nissan vehicles, and while we do get a lot of information on the vehicle with the blue driver, sadly we can't get reports on the enhanced codes for ABS, airbags, transmission, and other modules. So it's well worth a quick check on their website to see what you can learn from your vehicle with the device. Setup is a snap. First, you download the free blue driver app, then you just need to know where your OBD2 port is. For most vehicles, it's located under the steering column, but it can be in other places, so you may need to check your vehicle's manual or do a quick check online. Now, once you've found the port, you simply plug the device in, pair it via Bluetooth, and that's it. Turn on your vehicle, launch the app, and you're ready to go. Now, you can take a little time to input your vehicle's VIN number if you want, or you can simply select the year, model, make if you prefer. I was really pleased to get the blue driver for review when I did, because the service engine light on my wife's vehicle had just come on. Now, we'd taken the vehicle to one of our friends who is a mechanic, and he uses one of his fancy tools to let us know what was wrong, so I was eager to compare the findings. With a quick tap of the read codes, I was given a P0455 code, now for me, a complete vehicle novice I had no idea what that means but thanks to the blue driver app it's all laid out there for me it tells me what the code means possible causes for the code top reported fixes for this vehicle frequently reported fixes and other possible fixes now not only do you get this nicely laid out repair report on your device you can email it to yourself save it to Dropbox and various other ways to save it for later use so this error indicated an evap system leak detected this is exactly what our friend had told us was the problem. He also suggested we start by replacing the fuel cap first instead of bringing it in to see if it needed the more expensive fix. This is also one of the possible fixes in the repair report. We did and it seemed to fix the problem for a couple of days but sadly the service engine light did come back on and it kept giving us the same code. So we did have to take it in and yes the repair report showed the fix was to replace the evap canister vent solenoid valve. So while in the end it was a big fix needed i really like the fact that the repair report was 100 percent accurate and love the fact that it had a cheaper alternative as a fix replacing the fuel cap which may be the end fix for some people but the valuable information doesn't stop there. By tapping live, you can now monitor various data from your vehicle live on your mobile device. You get to choose which data is monitored from fuel pressure, intake air temperature, mass airflow rate, and a lot more. Now, once you've picked what you want to see, you'll get a colored graph for the data in real time. Now, all this live data, it may not mean a lot to the novice user such as myself, but you can upload the data to a spreadsheet to get a better look at it. It, and if you know what you're looking for, it could be extremely helpful in making some fixes to your vehicle. Another great feature is the smog check. If you need to get your vehicle tested and passed for emissions, this will help you know if your vehicle should pass or not. If there are problems, it'll let you know and you can get those taken care of. 
Want even more information? Well, you've got it with mode 6. Now, from what I understand, this is something not found on most OBD2 scanners. It gives you test results for all the onboard diagnostic system monitors. So it checks all the monitors and makes sure that they are working within the design parameters. So as you can tell, you're getting a ton of useful information from the blue driver. A lot of it may not mean a whole lot to you if you're a vehicle novice, but it can really give you a good idea on potential issues and even even possible fixes that can be a lot cheaper than bringing in your vehicle to a mechanic. If you are a car person and you love fixing and tinkering, this is also a great device and you'll probably get a lot more out of it. Overall, I'm really impressed with the Lemur's Blue Driver and from what I can tell, they are constantly updating information for all the vehicles it is compatible with, so that's very reassuring. If you enjoyed this video, a like would be appreciated. Also, feel free to leave a comment, I'd love to hear from you. Feel free to subscribe, that way you're not going to miss any of my future videos. For more daily Apple and iOS news, make sure you check out iPhoneInCanada.ca. Thanks for watching and have a great day.